Today, we're going to talk about 10 new features of the MIUI 11, and this is one of them. So, let's go! What's up, Xiaomi fans? Christian here, and welcome back to All About Me, where I talk about Xiaomi products. If you're new here, hit on that subscribe and the bell notification icons to get notified once I upload a new video. And guys, you can also follow me on Me Community. I have links in the description as well as Instagram. I also have links down below. So before we proceed to our video, let's give a shout out to our Me fans out there. And let's start with Master Jason. And we have Ron from Kolkata and Salim from Saudi Arabia. A shout out to Farai from Africa, Zambia. And a shout out to Heinz Idea from Myanmar. A shout out to Carl from the Philippines. A shout out to Lalit from India. A shout out to Liuhan Kolar from the Philippines. A shout out to Danush. A shout out to Rilwin Carpio from Dumaguete City, Philippines. And also a shout out to Henry from Jamaica. Thank you all for your support. And if you do want me to give you a shout out on my next video, you can leave a comment below. So let's dive in to our video. And the first feature we're gonna talk about today is the app drawer. You can now switch on the app drawer on most of the MIUI updated device. So to switch this on, on the home screen, just press and hold to get to the settings. Click on the settings, go to more, select home screen, and you now have an option with app drawer. So simply enable it, click OK, and hit on back, back, and then done, and you will have the app drawer. So notice some of your apps are missing because they are already in the app drawer. So just slide it from the bottom up, you will see all the apps. And you can also just use the alphabet on the side uh, to search for an app or you can type the app name below. And next we have the Share APK. So now you don't have to download a third party app to share an APK, you can just straight away do it from the home screen. So first select the app that you're going to share, press and hold and you will see the share button. So select which medium you want to share the app with. Uh, usually you can use the Mi Share, Bluetooth, or other messaging app. And the speed of transfer would depend on the size of the APK. And the next feature that I'm going to talk about is the vlogging mode. This is available in the Redmi K30. I'm not sure with the other models yet, but I hope it is. It's in the camera. So basically once you, if you want to start using the vlogging mode, you can just choose the templates. The templates already has music, effects, and uh, once you choose a template, you just start shooting or shoot vlog. So it's that easy. It would just allow you to shoot some pss and it will stitch the clips on its own with the effects. The next feature, number four, is the tracking mode. So this is also on the Redmi K30, the camera section. So once you switch it on, you select which subject you want to track. As easy as that, it's gonna track and focus on that subject. And number five, we have the Mimoji. So you might have seen the sample of this on the intro. So basically, it's also in the camera, you can use the back or the front uh, lens of the camera. So once you start shooting, you can actually choose. There's a three presets like a bunny, a bear, and a pig. Or you can customize your own Memoji. So just hit on a plus, it's going to detect your face, and you can start editing. So you can customize, you can choose a, a variety of uh, hairstyle, 
of the skin color, uh, face, the eyes, eyebrows, nose and lips, facial hair, glasses, accessories, and so on. And I find this update pretty cool and amazing. It's quite smooth with this animation and all. So you can have fun taking pictures and also video, but it's limited to 15 seconds video. And one of my personal favorite is the sky filter. So basically it adds filter to photos with sky in it. So just like this photo, when you edit, you just simply have to choose the sky filter and there's a variety of uh, sky filter that you can choose from. So just choose a filter and it automatically it will change the background of the sky for you on that picture. And also it also changes the lighting of that uh, particular photo that you're having. So sometimes saving it uh, would take time. It would depend on the size of your photo because this is a 64 a megapixel photo that's why it took time to save it so let's try to zoom in as you can see it's pretty clean adding that filter even the flag it's still okay just probably the uh, the rope on the flag is actually gone now and there's some white part of that uh, UK flag that has been overridden by the filter but overall it's still good and next we have the dynamic wallpaper I'm not sure if you heard this before but you can choose a video and make it as your wallpaper, either home or the lock screen. So let me show you how to do this. It's quite easy to do this, but make sure your video is in a portrait view. If not, it will be distorted. It will stretch out the video. So this is how you do it. Quite straightforward doing this. Uh, just choose the correct format of the background. So in your gallery, choose the video, hit on more, and set video wallpaper. So as easy as that, you can set it as a lock screen, as home screen, or as both. And now we have the show notification after face unlock. This feature is popular to iPhone users and now it's on a Xiaomi device thanks to the MIUI 11. You can now quickly glance at your messages on the lock screen. To activate this feature, go to your settings, passwords and security, and you go to face unlock and enable show notification details after verifying face data. And from here, you can already see your notifications without actually unlocking the phone. So you can just see it on the lock screen. And next we have the ultra battery saver as our number nine. So this is only available to the MIUI 11 with Android 10. So how to switch it on? You just go to your battery and performance in the settings and you will see their ultra battery saver. So once you switch it on, it restricts most power consuming features and decreases your device performance in order to leave basic functionality like calls, SMS, and connecting to the network. And it is said, based on this, you can actually leave this device on up to 360 hours if it's full charge. That is 15 days, up to 15 days of battery life for this phone. So it looks basic, but you can still add some other apps. It depends on uh, what apps you want to enable for the ultra battery safe. And number 10, you can now create multiple users on your device. So basically to set this up, you just go to settings and there's an option that says multiple users and you can just right away add a user. And it's quite easy to switch between users. So this, I'm not sure if this is helpful to everyone, but this is a good update on the MIUI 11. And thank you all for watching. That's all for today. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit on that bell notification icon as well. And also follow me in, uh, on me community and also on Instagram. I have links on the description. And also you can comment down below what you think about the 11 or the MIUI 11 
features that we talked about today. And I'll see you guys on the next video.